Welcome, Welcome everybody. Oh, now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now <laughs> now <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to be here. Uh, thanks for setting this up. Uh, really one of the best locations. I've been uh, to the Atlassian user group, I think, five years ago. It was the epic revival, was it five years ago? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I was also presenting there with a colleague of mine and the topic there was giraffe add-on development. Mm -hmm. and it was really technical. People were like, what are these guys? XML <laughs> things? <laughs> so today I'm not going to be that technical, uh, but um, yeah, we'll see. So topic is effective meetings with uh, conference and medical. And um, let's have a look, a quick look at the agenda. Uh, yeah, the first point I want to present you is why are so many <coughs> meetings uh, not effective? Second, how can we run effective meetings and how can we create a positive meeting culture where things like get uh, good habits? And the last point, obviously, I am going to show you and tell you how you can use a uh, conference to implement all these some sort of best practice and I will also demonstrate live the meeting code so yeah otherwise uh, now I have to get some attention. Um, yeah just a few words about me. Um, yeah I said 360 degree software craftsman. I, I learned inventing job titles when I was working at Code Centric in Berlin. <laughs> Yeah, I was working um, for some years ago. I studied uh, IT and management in beautiful Innsbruck. It's not in Innsbruck, but it's still flying to the Alps. And um, I switched to Zurich and I uh, started in part time. I uh, wanted to create a conference app, and now it turned out it was a little bit more difficult to do <laughs> what I had in mind, but uh, probably it also gets a little bit bigger. I'm excited to present it here because I also presented another app uh, which was Workflow Essentials for Jira and um, this app turned into a top, uh, turned uh, code centric into a top vendor so I can only hope this will be the same with your help if you get good feedback. So. And yeah, the mission of the company Medical is not only to provide software tools but also to enable and support organizations to put effective meetings into practice. That's also why I'm standing here and I'm not just programming and sending out uh, newsletters. So, first part, why are, why are so many meetings not effective? I mean, maybe just to, to mention there are every day in the USA there are 55 million meetings. And uh, yeah, there are shocking numbers how ineffective they are, but I mean, we, we all know it. And we, we have a good feeling that there we can, there's room for improvement. So think a minute about this. I'm no, just joking. I'm thinking of you. <laughs> uh, so the first point is that many meetings are boring. They're just boring. You sit there and you think, what am I doing here? And you think like, okay, next the next decision will be made at the coffee machine. You already know it. That's many organizations meeting that boring. They don't have tension. They don't, they don't have the right content, the right structure. So that is really one of the reasons why meetings are not effective. No? Because it lacks a bit of an exciting story, an exciting background. How can it be? that people go home and watch Friends on Netflix. I hope it's still the number one uh, series. <laughs> Friends on Netflix are not fictionless people from people you will never meet in your life. How can it be that this is more interesting than like meeting with your colleagues, fulfilling <laughs> your mission, which you call like, no, it's, it's a little bit strange, no? Huh? And, but the reason is really that um, yeah, sometimes you have to tell the story. You have to say not it's now together let's let's invent some IT strategy for 2020. No, it's our competitor is having this important step towards cloud, for example. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what are we going to do if we don't do it? That means our reputation will fail. No? So that is really the, the point. So how can we get people <coughs> interested and, and, and engaged in meetings? No? So to what I already said, you as a meeting participant, 
and also as a meeting leader, you have to create this tension and you have to make provocative statements and also explain why it matters. And one important thing, maybe scrum masters here around know this, you have to uncover the relevant conflict. Now you have to really mine for the right conflict. So they know that not that people fight about because they don't like each other. No, they should fight because they have different opinions. No, and that's good. That's actually why we are in this together and not no. So different opinions can lead to uh, a better decision, no? something new, no? technical, non-technical, uh, yeah, synergy. So to say. But that's number the point number one, uh, which what you can do to make meetings effective. And the second one is um, which also a very interesting book about this caused the multi headed animal syndrome. You know, like like this guy, you're, you're trying to, to to juggle a little bit everything, you know. And you, you, you it starts and yeah, let's make a quick update, what is everybody doing and then let's talk about our strategy for 2020, 2021, and then ah we have this team event, we should uh, decide on our location. And that's a little bit a lot, no? for maybe a two-hour meetings. You start with the team event and then the time is over. <laughs> so meetings really need context and the right structure. And you need to separate the how from the what. So when a discussion starts, for example, where are we going to make our next team event, we should first decide what kind of method do we use to come to that decision. No? So it's not, not just brainstorm, just start. No? So that is, that is an important, can be a, a game changer. And the other point is that um, you have to separate meetings like into operative, tactical, strategic, political, philosophical <laughs> things, like I said. But that can really be true. No? I mean, the philosophical topics uh, are not really nice in the daily. You, know? you really want to return and you know, get things done. And, and so, yeah, this, this, this also comes from a book I will show you in a minute. And I think this is a really, really, really interesting thing to think when you create a meaning to think about this aspect. Mm. Now, is it operative, tactical, strategic? You know, what, what kind of meaning is it also communicated to your colleagues so they know, you know they can prepare stuff if they are asked for 2020 and not for today and yesterday? You know? So, yeah, this is actually one of the books I can recommend. <laughs> and that's an interesting title. <laughs> and, yeah, um, I don't want to say how it ends now, but you have to read it yourself. But, um, yeah. It's an interesting book. It has two parts. The first part is some kind of really a fictional story about a company which almost fails because of meetings. And if you read it, you will realize that actually that is not that invented. No? We all have been in situations um, yeah, where we thought like one meeting more of this kind and then I don't know. <laughs> so what he proposes at the end is to separate meetings in four different types. Daily, an operative quick meeting, weekly for tactical things, monthly strategic and a quarterly review, even a one day offsite many companies do. And interesting, if you have a look at the Scrum guy, who of you, of you is using Scrum at work um, as a methodology or, yeah, okay, a few. So what's really interesting, I think, about Scrum, I mean, first of all, meetings are events, you know? They are just not called meetings. There are no Scrum meetings, it's Scrum events. And that's for a reason, no? you create this kind of tension, you create this you are not going to an event and not do anything. You know? At least you have a beer, you know, at any event. So it's not, it's not completely useful. And um, yeah, if you have a look at how they structure these meetings, it's similar, you know. They have the daily, planning one and two, refinements, review, retrospective, all these is clear separation of a context and they separate things and, and that's how they get effective. It's actually, yeah, if you, if you implement it by the book, then it's 11% of the time you spend in meetings. And that's not that much, you know? I mean, probably you will have others as well, but... Um, so we can learn from Scrum, I think. 
And yeah, so the second one is now how can we implement this? Um, what makes a meeting really successful? You know? Let me try this one. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Thank you. <laughs> like <Oops. it>. Last one. <laughs> yeah, actually, um, here we have another one. The visual stimulus. 27% said that is uh, one of the key success factors for meetings, so maybe just get one of these. I should have this. Yeah, How does it work? I don't have a way to speak up, but that it will not make a effect. But um, yeah, another success fa factor is that I will come to this shortly. I mean, the agenda. Clear objective and an agenda, you know? Mm -hmm. And having an agenda sometimes doesn't even mean that you had it before. Because we know from Scrum and retrospective, usually you create the agenda on the fly. That's also a methodology to do it, no? It would be better before, but sometimes you... you but just do the agenda, no? Even last minute, even last second. And to go to the next uh, point, here, uh, not having too many people in the room. Um, I mean, we could also make a meeting here, but um, no, we decided, I think, that we we'll just mm -hmm. uh, But that is also a key success factor that you keep spectators out of uh, your meetings. And there comes really interesting, I, I read a lot of uh, <laughs> things, <laughs> and it's, it's the meeting paradox for me, because what I found out is that people uh, hate to be invited randomly at every second meeting where they don't know what's the agenda or what's going on. But what they even hate more, or what's a bigger problem, is when they feel excluded from meeting. And that's an interesting fact also that this science, which is like discovering these things, that's also a book. Um, covering this topic and so it is really important for a positive meeting culture to not uh, make anybody excluded. It would be even better to make the worst, biggest meeting than making anybody ex uh, feeling excluded. Yeah. So how can you make this? How can you implement this? No? When you separate meetings by type, when you clearly mention in your company's policies we want meetings without spectators uh, and how can that maybe become reality yeah if you make the results uh, here available beyond the list of participants you know and we know that conference is great for this you know conference is already there you can share things there and you can like profit from google google is good at running meetings, and they do, of course, the Google Docs, but uh, no, Google does um, note-taking in real time, and if they have the uh, possibility, they also have a second screen where they show to people what, 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 what the moderator, or not the moderator, the note-taker, or anybody who is active um, is, is writing down. So there's immediate commitment, there's, no, there's not so much post-processing, and to keep the spectators out, finally you should gather input from people which are not directly involved. I mean, everybody here who, know, who has been in a meeting just one day before some project goes live and the IT security guy said, this uh, hasn't been approved. Uh, but you know, <laughs> so how important it can be you now to involve the right people. Um, yeah. So that brings me to the next point, uh, how conference can help. And um, here's a table um, which I collected from, from this book, uh, The Surprising Science of Meetings, which um, yeah, I definitely recommend. And um, we already had that. Now it's, it's, it's science says it's really important to, to provide an agenda ahead of time. Um, and how can you do the conference? Well, yeah, just create a page, mention your colleagues, export this PDF, send it around. You know that this uh, this tool will help you to implement this. 
then uh, share materials beforehand. You can create grid pages and attachments, whatever you like, and uh, recognize contributions to the agenda. I think conference is good, like uh, visualizing who did right what, no, just now, uh, that you get like your contribution recognized. Um, and that's also part of a meeting leader's job to do that. Um, yeah, uh, you can use the agenda table to prioritize things. And, and yeah, you can delegate roles to even the standard template includes the uh, possibility to specify who is responsible for what. And um, yeah, you should review the previous um, action items. You can use a task group of markup components to, to do such things. <laughs> so now this part um, would be a live demo for conference. I'm not sure how interesting that is. Um, maybe I skip that and I show Just you show the limitations. Show the limitations. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, there are a lot of um, features in conference. Who of you here is already using meeting? Uh, the meeting notes template from time to time. Yeah, okay, almost half of it. Yeah, then, then you probably already know that you can also promote these templates or create your own templates so that people are also, like all of them, you realize, okay, you know, that I can use this feature. <coughs> you can share the thing and, yeah. So, this is for medical, but for this, let's jump into a, into a live demo to explain you quickly um, how medical works. Let's, let's try if that works. The only problem is that it will be quite hard um, with just one hand, but let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, let's create a meeting now. Let's meet tomorrow. What do you say? Anybody interested? <laughs> Yeah, he allows us interested. He likes like me. He likes the dogs. He likes meetings. Ten is okay. Atlassian strategy. Now let's say I have this um, this meeting planned, and um, actually let me copy yeah, one of my users, just invite Anna Berlin. Have somebody here and I yeah I wanted to fill it up a little bit with significant content but <laughs> one hand <laughs> I have to stick to this. Um, so usually I mean a you know conference um, my conference I use it so much. No, look at you. You did it on purpose to, to wake up us. Uh, no, it's not. It has nothing to do with that one ask what got this 40 million investment. No, no, no. That's not the issue. They invested in the Okay, back to this. So, uh, we wanted to set up a meeting uh, also in Laos. Uh, Laos is a best account. Uh, I will read your email in a second. And uh, yeah, what you usually do, yeah, you can open a conference and then uh, let's go to Berlin space. It's a fresh, new, nice space. And you just go and create, and then you find your meeting notes, and you create your meeting notes. And what I would have to do is change the other date, change the title, yeah, change the other date again. Maybe I want also to have the time in the meeting room. And then we want to mention here Anna again and maybe Lars again. And this is, was my process and uh, it works you now, but uh, that, that, uh, the idea is now how can, can we automate this? I mean, uh, it's already, it's already, everything is already here in the calendar. So, what you can do now is you have an uh, add-in for, for medical, for conference, you know. You, First of all, you have to set up an account in Confluence and connect Confluence and your calendar. Mm -hmm. Then you can uh, install this add-in and uh, 
all things you just click on add confluence page this here you can then choose the space where you want to create a, this meeting you can now choose a template your template is still in beta but you can fully customize this experience of the say and you just click on create page and the page was created and it's open the page and you see, I mean, it's a basic page. Uh, it has been correctly under this page. It happens a lot of times to me that I create this page somewhere <laughs> and other people start searching for it. If it was interesting. And uh, yeah, you see that it also link the users. And um, the cool thing is also, now let's quickly send this out so that I can show you. Now you have here a link placed for someone when I invite somebody, in this case Anna, she should get the email that she already have, has the link in the invitation, or it's also an advantage. And yeah, let's here say Signabio. Coming here again tomorrow. And update this. Yeah. No internet. No internet. No Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> Restart the computer. <laughs> <laughs> this is not my app, no? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hello, you guys. <laughs> this is a very good thing right now. <laughs> this, is really, this is really interesting. Yeah. You also have Gmail. <laughs> What happens if you skip the meeting? Sorry? What happens if you skip the meeting? If you skip the meeting? You get a late for your shop. Yeah. Does the page automatically be deleted or? Yeah, you can try that also. So oh, as we see, I changed something. Then oh. it says, hey, new page edits. Page has been oh, updated. Cool. So we have the new location. And uh, we can also try to see what Anna says. Anna says, yeah, okay. And uh, go here. Should in a second see that Anna is coming. Ooh. Yeah, is that cool? <laughs> yeah, so that is the first cool thing about uh, Medical that you have the direct calendar integration. It saves you a lot of time because you don't have to context switch, you don't have to copy paste, you just create a page and that's it. Uh, when I open this page again, um, then... Um, oops, no, this was not the right one. Then I, I will have also here um, a direct link on it. Um, that I, that I yeah, can just open this page. And I just want to dive into another feature. So you also have the opposite of it. Sometimes you are already in the meeting, or let's say tomorrow, no, then uh, we start a meeting and then we are in conference. We open conference, we don't open a calendar, and then you just have this new menu item, this, this new view, which, um, which um, is actually not the right account. <laughs> So uh, let me log in with my test users. Um, and it, this this two-step process. Yeah, not entirely convinced. So as you see here, you see you just log in with your Microsoft or Google account. You share your calendar and you have these features ready to use. Or and you have to also to connect conference with, with the service. And um, here you see the meeting again on tomorrow, Friday, here this is the meeting we just created. And here is another meeting uh, which I already created before. This is like a weekly meeting. As you see, it's a bit different. It's part of a meeting series. It's get automatically structured, you know. So you have an overview page and now uh, 
it's also uh, improving how we can source them. And let's say now this technical meeting would happen, we can also create this directly from Confluence if uh, I remove the link. <laughs> Yeah, actually, when you do a lot of testing, what happens here, I already created a page, and now uh, you see that this link was created before, and yeah, probably we will just replace it in the future now. Um, it's this cat narrow message. So when I now I just click on, oh, create page, a page already exists with that title. Okay, it's getting, it's getting harder, it's getting harder. <laughs> Yeah, it was already created. Let's see, this is 26. Yeah, that's an only limitation where I could need your feedback if you have ideas. I personally think if you really have a, a, a meeting with that title, with that exact title, then probably um, it's time that you think um, yeah, on the same day. So let me quickly refresh this, and what I want to show you is that since, yeah, it's, it's hard. You could change the title after the meeting happened, uh, instead. That's true. <coughs> or, or I could name Microsoft again. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see if they really deleted the title, or they didn't. I try this with tempo every day. <laughs> So which that we are my demo? All of them. It's still better than a plus of support. So it's interesting how send and what does this now mean? <laughs> I send it or no? Let's try it last time. Come on. Can do it. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Okay, we are done. <laughs> but the point is that you can create now new meetings with a single click. You know, I, I created this with a single click. You now, how is that compared to you go to your calendar, start copy pasting things? You know, this is just uh, ready made. So that's the uh, second big advantage. And um, yeah, what is also reported from uh, my early customers is that this also keeps like even more engaged. <laughs> So, because when the meeting is created and you already send out these links, that people are in that moment, you know, this is what, what I was mentioning before, you have the context. Sometimes when you create a meeting, you have the context. No? How often does it happen that we speak about something and then we say, yeah, yeah, that's a good topic, let's decide on that, no? But yeah. that only works within one company, yes? Because when you have someone from the outside, he can't view that conference page that yeah. is an internal page. Yeah. So what was the meeting was I had with my colleagues and with external yeah. people? So one thing which what, what we did is onboard uh, clients, which we work closer with to your conference. Mm -hmm. That can be an option for the ratio. There are other conference space for the client. Yeah. Another, yeah. Another option is to go to Conference Cloud Premium. <laughs> 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 that is, uh, I hope really that this feature comes to Conference Cloud more Premium because uh, sharing pages from the conference with people also not on the conference, I think it's a really great feature. But it's also great to, to, to distribute. But the also thought of, sorry, we also thought of like just uh, sending the content of the page uh, yes. as update for the meeting. You mean as like a PDF attachment or something? No, as text. I mean, like when you have like conversation with yeah. emails, you have like just the history, um, and like when you have like externals, are not like eligible to to enter your or to access your conference. Yeah. That might be an option, but then probably need some security uh, yeah. to check that what what is. What is that? Yeah, yeah. 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 there's one more um, add-on, or there are a few, but the external share it's called. So that could be an option. I also know them, so maybe we can partner up with something. I can also imagine that once everybody uses Mythical, that this becomes a feature of Mythical. You know, you just set a link, you click on it. If you are a conference user, you get logged in, and if not, you see a preview. 
and yeah. So. And there's more content on the page, and someone has changed something. Will that be highlighted? Because when I know that you added a location, that's nice, but you sent me an update of the meeting and I didn't see that it was the location inserted, mm. when it's not highlighted. That is actually a very good question. So what you see here is the last update. Um, so for the location, oops. Yes, yeah. so for the location you usually See things. Ah, this is not the correct page. This I want to, to show you the page which we updated. Mm, interesting. So this is this is a very interesting um, question because um, medical style of the philosophy we simulate a user which edits this page, and now what we switch to a like partially is we have macros in place which you just place wherever you want them and you can also configure them now for example you can have here your meeting title and underline it or you can say uh, your meeting date and time that um, you also want uh, you want to show the time the time zone you know so this is an advantage of the macros which come, they, they consume real data, so to say, but it comes with a disadvantage that you don't see it like versioned. So there we have to figure out where is the right um, kind of, uh, where is the hotspot between like versioning things and not. I mean, one of my, uh, one of the most active clients said, hey, we, we don't want to get updates from people confirm and reject. We already get it from a calendar, so we were like shutting this down and just show the most recent status. Now for now for the description I can imagine you want to have maybe some change log, maybe also for the location, but what, what is your opinion on that? Yeah, think about it. Then it's actually if, if you're uh, changing an identity it's not uh, it's not a macro, is it? Exactly, yeah. This is uh, currently not a macro. Yeah, this, it, yeah, this is this is currently not a macro because um, yeah we are we are here on the way to it's not page properties. So it looks like we'll get some. these are page properties. <laughs> Macros yeah. Yeah. show you. But overall you will got email for from yeah, the yeah, what I want to show is that you have uh, you have here series. This is this is the better version. When you download it, you will have only two macros, just that you if you don't want. But you can get a better version. Just email me, and it will be online probably for the next week or the week after. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then you have a meeting attendee list, and this will be then a macro, and you don't you won't see it as a text. But I'm really happy, and that's also why I'm here, to enter in a discussion and think, you know, what kind of content do you want as text and what, what not. Um, yeah, so... Just one comment regarding yeah. her latest questions to uh, publish this to externals. If we combine the first contribution today with the knowledge base and your solution, then you would be able to access those details via the knowledge base for any external job in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe, yes, maybe. Yeah, this, um, yeah, I found it also interesting um, to, to combine things like approvals and, and this, this kind of direction. So, yeah? If we create a meeting page in Confluence, does that then fire back through to Outlook or Google or wherever? Can, can you do it the other way around instead of starting from Outlook? Can you start from Confluence and then it ends up in Mm -hmm. No, at the moment not. Is it planned? It's requested already by <laughs> 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 we, we, we should talk because once you build know, like so. Okay, okay. <laughs> then uh, let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to, uh, uh, to get the use case. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. Thank you. Is there also uh, a social dimension with it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Actually, Google Calendar is. Yeah, I was the first one to be supported. Today I showed uh, the idea because. Yeah. It's like the world news and I uh, you know, wanted to come with something really new here. Yeah. <laughs>
Because I have a very last question. I yeah. do not understand the uh, purpose of the add-on, finally. The add-on was sitting in the browser or an outlet uh, or where? Do you mean the add-in? No, the add -in. Yeah. Yeah. browser add-in? No, this is, um, so for Google Calendar, this is not, uh, it's not possible to create this. Uh, only, only, uh, only a few providers are allowed, but um, this is a, this is a add-in, Microsoft Engine install. Oh. And for Google Calendar, you get a Chrome extension. Okay. On the Chrome Web Store, you install it, and then you have more or less the same functionality. Instead of using the add-on, would you be able to invite the conference via email? Uh, no. But uh, maybe we could tell you that it was in the beginning, no? was, okay. uh, but it's much better with the APIs. And then also for the love. Do you also mirror the meeting to the conference team calendar? Then also already requested. <laughs> Um, the, the team calendar, you can integrate the team calendar in your Google calendar, for example, and then from there create a page. But um, that is, uh, yeah, I don't want to say it. The, the, the API for team calendar oh. sucks. Yeah. 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 So we look at this one and it goes down, or it comes from out, the fact that team calendar, that works. Yeah. But trying to get something directly to team calendar by the API is. Find a way to sell it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, people. Maybe they will acquire you next year. That's how they do that. Next year, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and then under that page it will create a, a single instances of this meeting. But more than the, uh, Only the ones which you choose. But um, they are also there where you can experiment to create a whole series. That could also be, this is an easy thing and an option we could provide. So, yeah, they are looking for people who want that. So maybe one day before the meeting starts. Or exactly, yeah, exactly. For maybe a weekly meeting that now you always have at least one more where you know, usually it is now, let's move that to next week because someone is missing or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so quick summary. <laughs> Uh, okay, so um, I think meetings make really make a difference uh, in a company. For my company culture, we see that with Scrum, we see that when meetings are not uh, doing well. I've read a study recently, it's from last year, from a job portal, where 30%, and these are among the most skilled uh, employees, said that um, why are you searching for a new opportunity? And 30% said that there are too many or too ineffective meetings. So I mean, everything goes a bit together, but I think that is yeah, that's a shocking fact, so to say. Um, but when you make meetings work, then you get faster and better decisions, higher commitments, superior results, and you keep your best employees engaged, and you keep your employees focused on their real work, so to say. Uh, yeah, create tension in meetings, no? ask why am I here, what is important, tell a story, even to participant. Start with the why, let them in, yeah. set goals, <laughs> customers, customers. <laughs> scale it up, <laughs> um, yeah, set structure, get inspired by the Scrum events. Now, if you have maybe the next uh, meeting, think about what how could how would Scrum kind of call this meeting and organize it. Uh, organize meetings in small groups and try to keep spectators out really by all costs by making that a company policy that people can understand what the goal here is. Use technology for gathering input and before the meeting, real time note they can use these kind of things. And yeah, look how Google, for example, does it. I think there's also a presentation online. And share results with the participants and beyond. Also, really interesting conference. This kind of is automated a bit because people can go and pull information out, you know, but um, yeah, it's very important. So people don't feel excluded. They think, no, I don't have to participate, but it's good to know what you decided, you know, and yeah, now everything runs smoother. And yeah, add a link to the meeting invitation and say, hey, here you can add input to a Google Docs or a conference page like for someone. And obviously, get the meeting from the conference and try it out and give me feedback. So finally, these are four books. Um, you know, I did invent everything. Mostly I just invented, but some comes from these books <laughs> all, uh, all the way around. Um, and yeah, all what I can say is thank you, connect with me on LinkedIn and yeah, thank you very much. <laughs>